Hey there, everybody, and welcome to another episode of In the Kitchen with Vincent. Y'all, I am so blessed and honored to have y'all here in my kitchen for yet another episode. So y'all, today we are going to be digging into my, my newest Salvation Army find. I was in the Salvation Army recently, and I ran and stumbled into this book, this Southern Living book from 1987. And it was the same year that my brother was born, so y'all, I had to pick the book up. And my grandmother had so many of these books sitting around the house growing up and I was just like if I saw it I had to grab it so I'm going to be working through a recipe that I found in this book so people who know me know that my pound cakes are off the chain but I saw an orange pound cake recipe in this book and I just knew I had to find it and I had to go and recreate it or make it my own and this recipe today comes from Ann Hill Harden of Pleasant Garden, North Carolina. So Miss Ann Hill Harden, I thank you for the inspiration and I'm so excited to make this pound cake for y'all today. So stay tuned. Alrighty y'all, so we gonna get started by adding two sticks of butter, either salted or unsalted, your own preference, to a mixing bowl. Then you're gonna take half of a cup or half a stick of shortening. Y'all, I use the butter flavor Crisco because it makes a big difference with the taste of your pound cake in the end. So I'm gonna cut half of this and I'm gonna add it to the bowl as well. One second. Go cut it in half. We're gonna toss it on in. Nice. Awesome. Sit the other set. Sit the trash aside. Cool. Throw this away. <laughs> Alrighty, now we're gonna take this mixer and we're gonna, I should probably turn it off. <laughs> we're gonna take the mixer and we're gonna cream the butter and the shortening down and we'll be right back. Alrighty, everybody, so my shortening and butter are all mixed in well. So now I have three cups of sugar and I'm gonna add that into my shortening and butter mix and mix it in as I'm adding. You want to make sure you're working that bowl as well so you're making sure that sugar is getting actually mixed in well. You can tell it starts to clump together and takes on kind of a dough-like consistency. When you get to that spot, you should be looking something like that. Awesome. Now I'm gonna take five eggs that are already pre-cracked and I'm gonna add them into my mix one by one, ensuring that I completely get one egg mixed in at a time. And I'm gonna get that started and be back when, <laughs> once it's completely done because I don't want y'all to have to sit through all of that. <laughs> Alrighty folks, so now I got my five eggs all mixed into my cake batter and now I have my three cups of flour I have a cup of milk already pre-measured some salt and some baking powder So let me grab my measuring spoons momentarily. I'll be right back Alrighty now that I have my measuring spoons I would like to take one fourth of a teaspoon of salt and add it to my three cups of flour make sure you don't put too much salt in there, you just want a little. Awesome. And now I'm gonna add a half of a teaspoon of my baking powder to my flour as well. Awesome, and I just mix it in up top, no need to get all fancy. It's gonna get mixed in well once you add it into the batter itself. Awesome. So what I do, I begin to add in my flour and milk simultaneously, a little flour and a little milk, because in the end you get the smoothest, most beautiful pound cake. So I'm going to do that. I won't talk through it, but I'll record it so you all can see what I'm doing.
Tammy, oh Tammy. You tell me you love me, but. Awesome, now we got our cake all mixed up and now it's just flavoring time. Already, y'all. So I already squeezed a half of an orange and it gave me about, I would say, about a fourth to a half a cup of orange juice. So I'm going to add all this orange juice into the batter and then give it a mix. Oh, it smells so good, y'all. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, wow, that smells so good. I mean, citrusy. And it's summertime, so the oranges are really fragrant right now. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, and it's giving it this, like, a lightly orange look. It's not quite a deep orange, but it's a light orange. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, and the recipe also called for zesting a li I mean, not a lemon. <laughs> I'm so used to making lemon pound cakes. It calls for zesting a orange. So I'm going to get a little, I've already cleaned this orange off and I'm going to zest it a little bit. See, for me, I want to taste it. I want to know that I'm biting into an orange pound cake. So I'm going to not be too sparing with the zest. I don't want it to overpower the cake, but I also want you to know that you're biting into an orange pound cake. Because, y'all, it's summertime, so we got to embrace these amazing summer fruit. <laughs> awesome. That's enough. Alrighty, I'm going to give that a mix. Alrighty, and lastly, folks, I'm going to add just a little bit of vanilla extract, just a little bit. You don't want it to overpower the orange flavor, but you do just want to support that orange flavoring just a little bit. So, yeah, I would say about a half of a teaspoon. A half of a teaspoon would do you just fine. Alrighty, y'all, we got the flavors all added into the cake batter. Now it's time to get our bunt cake in the pan. So I take that Pam baking um, perfect release spray and I spray my bunt cake pan down well. And I mean well, I spray all of it, the edges, the inner. Cause you know, sometimes when you bake a pound cake, it spills over. And some of the best parts of the pound cake is that spillover crust. So we wanna make sure that it doesn't break off. So we wanna spray the whole bunt cake down, even the outside of the edges really well. Alrighty, so I sprayed my pan down well, and now we're gonna get this batter off up in this pan. You gotta add a little and spin, add a little and spin, till the bowl becomes lighter, cause pound cake is kinda heavy and dense. <laughs> oh, but this batter looks so pretty, y'all. I'm excited to, I've never had an orange pound cake, so I'm really excited for this. And it looks good, it smells good. Oh, my, my, my. Alrighty. And when I get the rest of this in, we'll be right back. Alrighty, y'all. So we got our butt cake all filled in. And now, oh, let me see. Oh! Oh, that's so good. Oh, my goodness. It made me want to dance. All right, y'all. <laughs> All right, so 
for me, when I put my pound cakes in the oven, I cook my pound cakes in a cold oven. So I'm gonna set my oven to 300 degrees and I'm gonna cook this pound cake for 90 to 95 minutes. Low and slow, y'all, is gonna make sure that that pound cake cooks all the way through, that it's not burnt, and that this pan doesn't overheat and burn the outside of the pound cake. So I'm gonna cook it low and slow, 300 degrees for 90 to 95 minutes. So I'm gonna stick that in the oven, and then we'll be right back when we have a cooked cake. And just like that, folks, we got ourselves an orange pound cake. So I'm sorry I missed it coming out of the oven, but I have a good friend visiting me from out of town, so I missed part of the process. But let me just talk you through it. So after I took my pound cake out of the oven, I let it sit in the butt cake pan for like five minutes, and then I flipped it over and let my cake cool for like 30 to 40 minutes. So in that time, I took about three cups of powdered sugar, I squeezed the whole orange, zested that orange, and then I made my orange frosting. Once I touched my cake and my cake was cool to the touch, I layered on my glaze and I wanted to layer on a nice thick orange glaze. So let me grab a little plate and we're gonna give this cake a taste. Alrighty y'all, so now we got a knife, let's cut into this cake. Let's see, let's see. Alrighty. Oh, that's such a pretty pound cake, y'all. Let me see. Ooh! <laughs> my knife dropped. Oh my god, just scared me. Okay, so look at this pound cake. It's so pretty, y'all. But let's see how it tastes. Let's see. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Y'all. Mmm. That may be one of my favorite pound cake recipes. Oh my goodness. Y'all, it's something, that orange is slightly cutting through, but that zest, it it tastes citrusy, and oh my gosh, y'all, you have to add this to your summer repertoire. Orange pound cakes, y'all gotta give it a try, and let me know what you, let me know what you think. Um, because it's a new fave for me, so. I'm going to finish this um, slice of pound cake because this guy is so good. I, I'm focused on it. So I just want to thank you all for tuning in for another episode of In the Kitchen with Vincent. And I hope you stick around. Thank you all. Oh, my goodness. This case is just too good. Mm.